overflows. Move into sex but remain alert. Sex is the basic problem. All the habits that man has created are basically sex oriented. That is why no society allows total sexual freedom. However, when you follow Tantra, you move through sex and that is Tantra design, Tantra path. You allow nature a total surrender. It is a let go. You do not fight. It is not the path of a warrior. You do not struggle. You surrender to whatever nature leads you to or brings. Nature leads you into sex. You surrender to it. You completely move into it with no guilt, no concept of sin. Certainly remain fully alert and awake during the entire process. Tantra has no concept of sin, no guilt, move into it, but remain alert watching what is happening. Be alert and mindful of what is going on. No need to control it or try to contain yourself. Simply allow the flow. Let yourself become a circle and remain the watcher. Through this watching and let go, Tantra achieves a transcendence and eventually sex disappears. This is one way to go beyond nature because going beyond sex is going beyond nature. Sex is your basic nature. We need a human race that has totally free flowing intelligence not to imitate, not to deceive, instead to stand on his or her own with integrity. Even if it makes that he will be condemned by the whole world, it does not matter. What ultimately matters is what you have. What ultimately matters is that you have your own authentic face. Hormonal release is not orgasm as it is considered. Orgasm is a very different phenomenon, so man can deceive himself easily because he can feel hormonal release as orgasm. Hormonal release is a very local phenomenon. Just the, the triggering of a physical mechanism, a release, a relief and nothing more. Orgasm happens when tremendous energy is taking over and you have no control over it. You are overwhelmed by this energy flowing in and out of you and you feel that this energy has taken all over you. Orgasm is not a relief and orgasm is a meeting of you through the other with the whole, the entire existence. Orgasm is always divine. The other becomes the door to enter the divine. Orgasm is always spiritual, never sexual. Those who think orgasm is sexual have not understood anything at all. They do not know anything about sex and they do, know, do not know anything about orgasmic experiences. Orgasm is always samadhi or ecstasy, a state of ecstasy. But people 
don't know because they meet one another out of needs not out of overflowing energies the moment the meeting is out of overflowing energy everything transforms orgasm is ecstasy or getting lost into timelessness orgasm is when your whole body vibrates with some unknown energy that you have never come across before this energy flowing into you is a different phenomena orgasm is when you are close to god the word orgasm comes from the word orgia it was a pagan religious ceremony when people became ecstatic so ecstatic that their whole body was full of divine energy and they were bursting with energy and they were lost in that energy which was called orgia it was a religious pagan ceremony it was something like tantra it was dionys dionysian who brought this term and concept the word orgasm comes from that ceremony dionysius was a greek forerunner of bacchus he was the inventor of wine wine he gave to human race for that gift and for all the wild behavior that it led to dionysius became immediately popular and he appears in great many myths in 19th century nietzsche claimed that ancient world could be understood as a continuing conflict between the attitudes repressed by apollo and dionysius that is between order and disorder between moderation and excess between the controlled and the ecstatic the altered consciousness thus produced by wine has been considered religious since then men rarely feel it when your whole body throbs not only your sexual sex organ but your whole body throbs from toe to head and head to toe you become sexual orgasm it is the symbol of shiva you must have seen the shivlinga you may sometimes be wondering where are the eyes and where are the nose where is the mouth and where are the legs and what kind of image is this this is the symbol of shivling is a symbol of orgasm cosmic orgasm when the whole body turns into a sexual organ from eyes mouth body mind all disappears into sexuality into sensuality into a kind of immense sensitivity everything eyes mouth nose legs lose their individual significance that is the meaning of shivlingam orgasm has become impossible because you cannot go totally with the flow and with orgasm becoming impossible many diseases have become prevalent william rice is right that if we can bring orgasm back to humanity almost 90% of mental illnesses will immediately 
disappear. I repeat this emphatically. William Reich is right. If William Reich is right, that if we can bring orgasm back to humanity, almost 90% of mental diseases will immediately disappear, like dew drops in the morning when the sun rises. 90% of mental diseases exist because man has forgotten how to be rejuvenated with God. How to fall into divine energy, how to flow with that energy and come back again resurrected. Those blocked energies are creating problems. First, your energy should be flowing freely through the entire body system and when it begins to flow freely there is no blockage anywhere. Then 90% of the mental diseases that are existing will vanish. 90% of mental diseases exist because man has forgotten how to be rejuvenated with God, how to fall into this divine energy and come back again re rejuvenated, resurrected. Those blocked energies are created problem. There are various centers through which this energy is supposed to flow freely, but it does not. Everywhere there are blockages. That is why orgasm is becoming more and more difficult. Neither hormonal releases orgasm, nor giving birth to children is orgasm. Orgasm is involvement of the total body, mind. Orgasm is the involvement of the total body, including mind, body, soul, all together. You vibrate your whole being vibrates from toe to head. You are no longer in control as if you has been taken over by an unknown energy. Existence has taken possession of you and you do not know who you are. It is like a madness. It is like a sleep. It is like a meditation. It is like death. But when you come out of that state, you are totally resurrected, rejuvenated and silence flows, overflows throughout your entire being. Enough for now. <music>